Today guys, I'm going to be testing out the Doe Fruit in several different One Piece games on Roblox and comparing them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Alright guys, the first game I'm going to be testing out the Doe Fruit in is Blocks Roots. Now first, I'm going to test out the Unawakened version, then we'll move on to the Awakened. Anyways, here's my stats. I have Max Melee, Defense, and Blocks Roots, so make sure to keep that in mind. Anyways, here is Unawakened Doe. So we got the first ability, it's called Fried Doe. Mastery required on that is only one. Here's how it looks. Bam, 2,542 damage, and it launches the player back, as you can see. And the next move we have on Unawakened Doe is called Sticky Doe. Mastery required on that is 100. Here's how it looks. So you just pick him up, slam him on the ground. Almost 3,000 damage on that move. Then we have Carved Doe. Bam, you slide go of it, slams, smashes the player. 3,211 damage. And then the fourth ability... We have the Doe Barrage, Use it. and you can like move it around and move a player around. So if like you want to bring them closer to you or something, they hit a combo. And that almost did 5,000 damage. And last but not least is Roller Donut. I believe this does no damage on the Unawakened version. Yeah, so this is just for transportation. It does no damage. Let's see if we can climb like walls and stuff with this. Oh yeah, and you can't even climb walls. Yep. Anyways, let's move on to the Awakened version. Alright guys, now for Awakened Doe, here it is. So it's the same thing, but you get like a little bit more abilities. So for example, the first ability is this tap ability over here, which you get when you awaken the fruit. So all you gotta do is tap on the screen. You get like these Doe things, which you can punch enemies with. So once you have these two in the air, you can now do a double punch like this, which does more damage. And then we have the first ability called Missile Jab. Here it is. Back up a bit. Bam. It launches them up in the air and you can do like a combo and stuff. Now this ability, Pastry River, is basically two abilities in one. So here's what I mean. If you don't jump and use it, you're able to do that. And now if you jump up in the air and use it, it's going to be a whole different ability. Let me just wait for this cooldown. Alright guys, now here's what I mean. See if I use it in the air. Look at that, it's just like a whole new ability. And then um, the third ability is this right here. You just grab them, it swings them, and it slams them onto the ground. Alright, I'm going to test out that move one more time just so you guys can see the damage. Here it is. 3,399 damage, and my arm is gone. Bruh. The heck? Anyways, the next ability is the um, barrage move. Here it is. This is how it looks in the Awaken. This is how it looks without hockey, but with hockey it looks completely different. And that did 7,554 damage. And last but not least is the uh, mobility move. This move also does damage, as you can see. Bam. And with this ability, you can like climb walls and stuff. And you can go on water with this move, so make sure to keep that in mind. Also, Doe in this game is Logia, so NPCs will not be able to hit me. Bam. As you can see, I have Logia, and it just goes right through me. They can't even touch me. Anyways, let's move on to the next game. Alright guys, now the next game I'm going to be testing out the Doe Fruit in is King Legacy, so let's go ahead and begin. Alright y'all, the first ability on Doe is called Flexible Punch, here's how it looks. Bam, half his HP just like that. Then we have Heat Shot. Okay, so that basically killed him, I'm just going to kill him before I use the next move. And then the third ability is called Liquid Drop, so here's how it looks. Bam, so it just turns like this whole area into liquid. And as you can see, it makes like these little spring things that trap the uh, players or NPCs. Let me use it on him real quick. Liquid drops. As you can see, it like locks him up and he's not able to move. Next power is rapid punches. Here it is. Now I can hold this move down until he's dead, but I'm not. I don't want to kill him. Then we have the next ability called sharpen spike. Here's how it looks. Bam. <laughs> Just like that. Did like 5,000 damage. And then the last move is Doe Spin. It's a mobility move. It's pretty quick. And it does damage. Look at this. But just keep in mind that it um, doesn't last forever. Anyways, let's move on to the next game. Alright y'all, now the last game I'm going to be testing out the Doe Fruit in is called a One Piece game. So, let's go ahead and begin. The first ability on Doe in this game is called the Grilled Mochi. Here's how it looks. Q ability. Bam. Now the next ability is called Mochi Wave, the E ability. Here's how it looks, I'm using on the boss right here. Bam. And then after it turns, it's like a bunch of tiny balls, yep, just like that. 
And then the third ability is the R ability. Let me show you that real quick. Let me find some NPCs. Okay, right here is good. Damn, look at that. Okay, now that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So we have the F ability, Buzz Cut. Bam. This is how it looks. Oh my god, okay, that did a lot of damage. Okay, now, but net, last but not least, we have Mochi Roll, the T ability. What the heck? Is that a motorcycle? Or am I tripping, bro? Bruh. They literally put a motorcycle engine in this thing, bro. What the heck? And it's slow as hell and does no damage. And can I even climb buildings? Hell no. What is this? It's like a motorcycle, bro. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, then please make sure to like, subscribe. Also, comment down below which game has the best dough fruit. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.